This is the only tool that I got for Christmas. Hello everyone, my name is Patrick. Some say I've embodied the soul of woodworking into my very fingertips. Others, they say I'm a woodworking oddball. But what we know for sure, this is This is a countersink drill bit with a tapered drill bit in the middle of it. It features a locking collar that functions as a depth stop. It's carbide tip to stay sharp longer. It has two set screws. One to adjust the depth of the collar and a second one to adjust the length of the drill bit. Sometimes the drill bit disappears entirely and you just have that. Essentially the combination between the two of them will allow you to determine what length of screw you are pre-drilling for and how deep you want your countersink to be. Essentially how flush you want your screw to be with the wood you're sticking it into. Now for a demonstration. I'm going to be using roughly one inch screws. So I've moved it to here and I'm going to lock it with just a little turn. And now it's not really moving anymore. And on the top, I want our screw to run flush with the wood. And this should be fairly close to accomplishing that. Now I've grabbed a couple screws here and I have my drill. So I'm just going to lock this in. And bring this over here and show you exactly what I'm talking about. So as you see, I've drilled a nice little hole there and a little opening for our screw. Now switching to another bit, we are going to take the screw and place it into the hole. And just like that, it has a nice opening and there's almost no chance of the wood splitting. Something else you can do with this though. I personally prefer if I'm going to use screws that you cannot see the screws. So by taking it, unlocking it and dropping it as far down as I can, I can pre-drill my hole. But this time there's a much deeper hole here. When we mix that with a screw, it's placed into the hole and we can take a dowel. Generally you'd use some glue and you'd put your dowel into the hole and then taking a saw, you can just flush cut your dowel. I need to clean my saw, but that's actually pretty well perfect. I don't think I could have gotten a better result uh, had I put more effort. Here was a 
previous example, and you can see it sticks up a little bit, but on this side, that's basically flawless. Now I don't have any projects directly in mind for this or where I would use this in my day to day. But I will say as a inexperienced woodworker, I rarely pre-drill holes and I very, very rarely use a countersink bit while drilling holes. And I've been known to crack a few pieces of wood while putting screws into it. I think every project I've done that, actually. Having this tool will simplify the process. It will half the time to do these two functions because it's in one. I think I will get this into my workflow. It would be neat to have a countersink bit instead of being tapered um, to be flat, kind of like a Forstner bit. Then you could use pocket hole screws and really bring uh, your two pieces of wood together. Thanks everyone for watching. If you enjoyed this little video and are interested in getting this tool, this one right there, I'll post the link in the description. Full disclosure, it may be an affiliate link if I can figure out how to do that. Um, it may not be, but there will be a link in the description to this exact one that I bought. I don't know if it's the best, but it's the one that I got for Christmas. So we'll see if it's the best over time, I guess. Like, subscribe, or not. And leave a comment on how I can improve my videos and make them better in the future. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.